so you kind of so you've kind of made your mindset and kind of worked on your skills by by kind of putting the work in and using the John Wooden pyramids of success is that kind of how you kind of altered the um, altered your mindset and like you said the skills that you've been built yeah be, um you know like I said like my my dad uh, was a division one college football player uh, back in the 70s he was a quarterback of a you know division one team they won the Gator Bowl. They won the Cotton Bowl. Uh, my grandfather uh, uh, was a, you know, uh, due to injury, he couldn't play at the college yeah. level. But he was, he was a college level football player, a Division One football player. And so I, I looked at their successes and failures and learned from that early on. Um, yeah. I, I I took the good things, you know, and 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 ran with those. And I looked at the things where they made mistakes. And I made sure that I didn't do that. And I helped the, you know, to, to help young people and adults, you know, not to make those same mistakes. Um, yeah. So I learned from, I, I guess, and, and then going into like my undergrad, um, my college, and uh, I learned a lot more about the psychology of sport. So um, just a, a bit about my credentials, like I have a bachelor's degree in kinesiology. I have a master's degree in counseling psychology, and then I also have a master's degree in sport in psychology of sport, like sports psychology, mm. because I, I really believe that the fundamental principles of that essentially are goal setting and motivation. Goal yeah. setting. It, that's it, man. Goal setting. So learning those tools and then imp, imp, implementing them into my life is what really, you know, helped me to be successful. Um, you know, looking up to positive mentors, you know, having some positive role models because I had some negative ones too and they didn't help me get anywhere. They helped me learn not what I learned about what not to do with my life, yeah. my, my more negative role models. But the positive ones, I learned from them, but they can only teach me so much. So mm -hmm. you can't always rely on everyone to, to hand you all of it. You have to experience it yeah. yourself. So I took as much as I could learn from them and I put it to application in my life and then I started learning more myself, like about, you know, what motivates me, you know, and, and how can I achieve the goals that I want to achieve that are important to me. And once yeah. I start, that's ultimately the key to my success is uh, when I was doing my, my master's, uh, I really started putting that theory, you know, of what we were learning in, in the classroom to practice yeah. in my life. And when I started knocking out these goals left and right, um, it made me really excited to uh, not only for myself to be able to accomplish these things, but to be able to spread the word to people like yourself, you know, to young people and to help you all be able to accomplish things um, without having to make so many mistakes <laughs> like some of us. So.